So YouTube family, are you the guy who has to call his friend to disassemble his firearm with a simple fact that you refuse to learn how to disassemble a firearm? Or are you the guy who can disassemble the firearm but somehow end up at the gunsmith just to get it reassembled? Or maybe you're the guy who has never cleaned his firearm for one reason and one reason only, and that is because you are clueless as to how to disassemble your firearm. Well, if that's you, then hold tight because this video is for you. All right, what's going on, folks? I got a few firearms sitting here in front of you, but what I really want to highlight is the first and the most simple disassembly method I want to show you is that of the Springfield XD series. So, what you want to do is always make sure you eject your magazine. That's the first thing you want to do is make sure that the magazine well is empty. Second thing you want to do is make sure the firearm is empty. Once you confirm that the firearm is empty, you want to find your takedown lever or your takedown pin, which this right here is the takedown pin. So with this particular pin, you want to flip it up. All right. Now that you've got this pin up, what you're going to do is bam, hit the slide release. And next, you want to hit your trigger so that you can release the slide. Bam, slide is released. Take the slide off. You see your inside components. You see that I recently oiled this firearm. As you can see, the residue of oil. And that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see lubricant when you open up your firearm. You don't want to disassemble your firearm and see it being all dry, rusty, or anything like that. So, this is the first method of disassembly. And then you're going to grab your receiver, put it on the correct way. You're going to slide that back. You're going to lock that back. You're going to slap that down. Release. And you're all back to square one. You see that? So that was the first method of takedown lever. Flip up and do your magic. All right, so next I'm going to show you is the Jericho disassembly. It, well, with the Jericho, it's completely different. You don't have to lock back the slide. And it's not many firearms that you're going to see with this style of disassembly. But as you can see, this is what you call your takedown pin. However, this is very different than most takedown pins that you have seen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over. You see this? We're gonna push this down. You should hear it pop. Yep, you heard it right there. And you heard that pop. On the Jericho, there is a triangle and a circle. The circle is on the slide, the triangle is on the receiver. What you want to do is, you're gonna take your thumb and use it for your stability right here. You're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna squeeze back on the slide you can take your fingers and use some pressure right here on the top of your sights. You're going to squeeze until you get the triangle and the dot to meet up. As you can see, and you're going to just take your pin, you're going to pull it out. Bam. Once you got that out, you release it. You can see that everything moved. Take the slide off the top, and you are free. And now we are ready to put the slide back on. What we're going to do is we are going to pinch. Again, do not lose your pin. You want to squeeze until the triangle and the dot meet up. Drop. Bam. And now your gun is back to normal. All right. So now let's go to the third method of takedown, which is pretty much similar to the Jericho right here. But this is the new Masada Slim, my newest firearm in the collection. So again, the first thing you're going to do is remove the magazine. First things first. The next thing you are going to do with the Masada is you're going to rack back the slide. So it's a little bit different from the Jericho. Now, as you can see, this takedown lever, you're going to push forward. And once you push it forward, it's going to reveal the pin that you need to extract. So now, you can let go of your slide, boom, and you are going to grab that pin. But as you grab the pin, the same way with the Jericho, you are going to take some pressure off. And what's going to happen is there's a half circle on the bottom and a half circle at the top. Once you make them meet up, there will be a complete circle and you can extract the pin. So let's watch. So boom, that's a perfect circle. Grab the pin. See that? The pin just came out just like that. It's a little indentation right here so you can take your nail and just grab it. Pull the pin out and it's very small so you do not want to lose this pin folks it's somewhere very safe and our top is free 
So when I was telling you about the squeeze, you'll see a perfect circle now. See that? You let it go, it's off. You let the circle, or you let the half circles meet up and they make a whole circle. And then the pin can actually go in flush and clean. So this is a pretty simple reassembly. You're gonna work yourself backwards. You're gonna put this on. And now this is the part where it can be tricky. Because if you let this barrel move, it can change the orientation of the hole for the pin. So let's turn this upside down. Let's turn this upside down. Bam. Reassemble. All right, so there you have it. Right there, I just gave you three different methods of firearm disassembly that should help you when coming across a firearm disassembly. Nine times out of 10, you will come across a standard, a classic old school, or a modernized weapon. So these three breakdowns should definitely help you in that aspect. With that being said, man, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, as well as if you want to see more videos like this, as well as others, go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well, and I will see y'all on the next video. We out.